today's lesson video we're going to look at integration using u substitution this is calculus let us start this is our first example now to use u substitution in most cases we look at the part which has the highest power in this case we have 3x over square root of x squared minus 3 now we can see that the part which has the highest power is x squared minus 3 so we are going to let u to be x squared minus 3 which will be u is equals to x squared minus 3 now since we can see that u is equals to x squared minus 3 we are going to find the derivative of this which will be 2x and then dx and then solving for dx we are going to divide both sides by 2x this will get rid of this and then we can see that our dx is equals to du over 2x so we go back to our function remember we said this is equals to u so we put u and then where we see dx we are going to substitute by this which will be du over 2x now the aim behind choosing the part which has the highest power is to get rid of this we can see that this will get rid of this and then we are left with 3 2 du now you can see the x variable is no longer here so from here we can take our constant here and then we are left with 1 over square root of u du and then from here we have 3 over 2 1 over u to the power 1 over 2 du and then the integral of this actually before we do that let us du and then the integral the integral of this remember we add one here and then we divide by the term we get here so we get that half negative half plus one we have one over two so it will be u to the power 1 over 2 all over 1 over 2 now remember we can okay plus c instead of dividing by 1 over 2 we can multiply by 1 over 2 so we are going to have we can multiply by 2 over 1 and then from here we can see that when we simplify with our constant number this will get rid of this and then we are going to have 3 multiplied by u 1 over 2 plus c and then remember that u is equals to x squared minus 3 then we substitute but before we can do that remember that u 1 over 2 is the same as square root of u plus c 3 x squared minus 3 plus c this is our answer our next example is the integral of sine x to the power negative 1 over x squared dx now we can rewrite this as sine 1 over x over x squared dx now if we let x squared to be u we can see that there is no way it will get rid of this since this is an angle it goes hand in hand with sine so instead of letting u to be x squared we are going to let 1 over 2 to be u 
we know that I mean 1 over x to be u. Now we know that 1 over x is the same as x to the power negative 1. And then du is equals to negative. It's actually negative x to the power negative 2 uh, dx. Now solving for dx, we are going to divide both sides by negative x to the power negative 2, both sides. And then this, we'll get rid of this, and then we have dx is equals to du over negative x. So we can rewrite this as dx is equals to du over negative 1 over x squared. Now we can take this to the numerator level and then we know that we are going to flip this. This will be negative du instead of dividing by negative 1 over x squared it will be x squared so we can go back to our function we're going to have sine u over x squared when we see dx we said dx is equals to negative du x squared now we can take this negative sign here. So we have sign u x squared um, x squared du. Now you can see that this will get rid of this. And then we are left with negative sign u du. Now we know that the integral of sine it's negative cos since you know that the derivative of cos is negative sine so the derivative of positive sine is negative cos so negative and negative we have positive cos u plus c now we said u is equals to 1 over 2 I mean 1 over x plus c we are done with this question in this example you can see that we don't have a choice but to make this u so u is equals to y squared plus 1 du will be equals to 2y d y we divide both sides by 2y then dy will be equals to du over 2y so we can go ahead and substitute we are going to have u to the power negative 5 over 4 y then where we see dy we substitute by du over 2y so we can see that this y will get rid of this and then we are left with u to the power 5 over 4 um, du over 2 in this case we can take out 1 over 2 and then we'll be left with 5 over 4 du from here we need to find the integral now we're going to plus 1 and then divide by this term now there is a skill or a trick on how to actually add a fraction and a whole number so suppose we have negative 5 over 4 plus 1 we can express 1 as 4 over 4 so you can see we have common denominators and then negative 5 plus 4 
it's negative one actually there's a problem here common denominator it's four and then negative four plus four negative five plus four is negative one so it simply means that we have u to the power negative one over four over negative one over four plus c so instead of dividing by negative one over four we can multiply by negative four u negative one over four plus c and then from here it's half multiplied by negative one over four we have negative two u to the power negative one over four plus c and then since we can see that this is raised to the power negative number so we can write it like this u to the power 1 over 4 plus c so we have negative 2 this is the same as the fourth root of u plus c and then we said u is equals to y y squared plus 1 plus c That's it for this lesson video. This is Babula SJ. Thank you very much.